I got laid off on my first day, my absolute first day. I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do now? Following law school, the first job I took uh, was with the Portland Feminist Women's Health Center. My hair was very short. I was quite a rabid feminist at the time, so butch cut would be my hair. I had some clear glasses that I just loved. I remember um, the, the interview for the job, and they were like, what about this job? Uh, makes you want to work here. And I'm like, I'm very excited to help and support women, um, to make sure that women get the health care that they need. Um, I want to be part of this movement. It was very much a movement then. On my first day, the clinic was having a financial crisis, and they're like, sorry, Brown, we can't keep you. You're out of here. I'm like, what am I gonna do? I've got law school loans. I've been three years with minimal work. How am I gonna make ends meet? I hadn't really planned on becoming a lawyer, but I knew that I could get a job. I felt very grateful for my legal training. So I realized that I gotta go be a lawyer. And that's exactly what I did. I typed out applications to a number of law firms around uh, the city, the city of Portland. I knew I wanted to stay in Portland. I had some interesting interviews. I had gotten married uh, before law school and I got divorced during law school. I remember this family law attorney. So this is like 1985. He asked me if I'd gotten divorced, how could I keep a job? That he put the two together, that he equated the two, was not only appalling, it was totally illegal. I remember that incident so clearly. I was so upset. I went home um, with my girlfriends and we totally, we drank tons of wine that night. I was shocked and I was scared, uh, but I also knew that I had the tools to keep going forward and I knew I would survive and I did exactly that. I am who I am because of those experiences. I'm very grateful in a way of how things have all turned out.